Good morning and uh, welcome to uh, worship at First Presbyterian Church. And today we are celebrating Pentecost and uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I wanted to uh, begin with a, a story um, that tells the story of this window behind me. And of course, it is a a photograph, um, and I made it my my background for today. At the very top of the window, in that uh, V, uh, is a dove. It's it's hard it's hard to make it out. It's a white dove. But um, when I uh, first became a minister uh, in 1990, 1991, um, I was in a very uh, small town, uh, and we had an older church, a uh, larger stone church, and, um, and there was a country church, and there was another church in the next town. They were all Presbyterian churches, but they were all having um, low numbers, and uh, one of my missions there was to figure out what to do to help the church continue, all of the churches to continue. So I worked with another minister uh, from the church in the next town, and, uh, and with all the members of the churches, and we decided to combine two of those churches and to actually build a brand new church. And um, that church is still there today, Highland Presbyterian Church, a new church. But this picture was taken uh, on the last day uh, before we moved these old windows to the new church. So uh, we uh, wanted the old churches to have a meaningful existence even after we built the new church. So we sold this church to a Mennonite congregation, but we wanted to incorporate old pieces of each church into the new church. And one of those things was the windows. So, um, so I just was in the church alone, kind of contemplating the history. And uh, this was the day before we moved these old windows to the new church. And I did not plan for this to happen. The shutter stayed open and it was a film camera. And just all of these beautiful waves of light uh, appeared when I developed the picture. And we have uh, the dove at the top and, um, and of course, all the symbolism in this window. And, you know, it's, you know, in my own uh, faith and thoughts, it's almost as if I felt like the Holy Spirit uh, was coming with us uh, to that new church. Um, kind of gave me that, that sense. And so because Pentecost is all about the gift of the Holy Spirit, I thought I would use this window as a background for today's service. So um, just a few announcements. Um, we uh, want to talk as a session and um, decide when it is appropriate and safe to open uh, and meet together in the sanctuary again. I just read yesterday that the governor is moving uh, Washington County from yellow to green on June 5th, which is, I believe, a Friday. Um, Session had previously decided that we would attempt to reopen our sanctuary a week after 
uh, we move to green. So it wouldn't be uh, fifth, sixth, seventh. It wouldn't be the seventh. It would be the following week. So that would I'm guessing that would be the 14th or so, whatever the following Sunday is. But um, it's important that the session make these decisions and we talk about how to be safe and uh, how we want to handle this and when we want to. So I will uh, post an email uh, when we make this decision over the next week. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that, um, I think that this was a really uh, wonderful experience, uh, still being able to worship together, uh, even amidst this uh, frightening pandemic. The other thing I just wanted to mention briefly was that um, it has been a difficult time for our nation this past week. Uh, not only uh, our nation struggling with uh, reopening and how to do it positively, um, and people still suffering from illness and the uh, coronavirus, but also um, some civil unrest and uh, people experiencing emotional pain because of some injustices. So um, I never get into politics or anything like that uh, as a minister. I try to keep things positive. So, you know, the one thing that transcends all of this struggle and uncertainty is the love of Jesus Christ. And uh, the one thing I try to remember is that no matter what happens, no matter what decisions we have to make, um, if we simply love one another as Jesus asked us to love one another, uh, that pretty much takes care of most things. Um, and that's really what this service is about today, allowing uh, the Holy Spirit uh, to fill us with the love of Christ so that uh, it overflows and, uh, and we are able to love as Christ loved or close to it. Um, today we will be sharing communion and so uh, it doesn't matter what you use um, but try to grab some bread or crackers that you might have around your kitchen some juice or wine and we will bless it uh, during the communion service section of this service and just want to thank, uh, we have some music from my daughter Sophia, and we have some music from David's daughter. And um, just so you know, uh, she sent me some songs, uh, some music that I will share with you uh, during this service. Um, but those songs do not have video, they are just audio. So you can just simply listen to them. I'm going to post them uh, probably right after communion. And, um, but it'll be a time to meditate on the gift of the Holy Spirit and communion. You can simply pray and listen to those songs. So thank you for joining us. Uh, please scroll down and clip, uh, click on uh, all of the different sections, uh, all of the different parts of this service today. Thanks. God bless.